Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. It is the middle of the night, uh, the, <laughs> the, the hour when the veil is thin, uh, three o'clock in the morning and I am up and I am bawling my eyes out for Tabitha Brown. Now, I was checking yesterday and scrolling down the listing to see who won and they didn't have it on the main posting page. So I had to go to another one and I saw that she was awarded as I imagine many of us thought that she would be. If you are not familiar, Tabitha Brown is a vegan chef and she is, she was, <laughs> She was an aspiring actress, and maybe she's still aspiring for that. Who knows? I'm sure the world will literally open up for her. That is my prediction. Tabitha is an Aquarius, and we are in the age of Aquarius. And literally, the world opened up. But the thing that touches me, Tabitha accesses my heart chakra. As I've been going through all kinds of healing in the last couple of years, I shut it down because I had to go to battle. And one of the ways that God tapped me on the shoulder was I saw that video that Tabitha made, uh, the Whole Foods video when she was in her car e eating a sandwich. And she was so polished and so funny that I thought that she was a paid actress. I didn't know who she was before that, as I am not vegan. And I wasn't familiar with her content. But I'd seen her pretty face popping up with those brilliantly perfect straight teeth popping up everywhere. And... I thought she was like a paid promotion. I recently watched a podcast she did with Kev on stage and <laughs> who was another YouTube creator who was also nominated for the Undebel ACP Outstanding Social Media uh, Presence <coughs> Award. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> for those of you that are like, <coughs> excuse me. For those of you that are regulars here, I'm still recovering from COVID. So even though uh, the worst is behind me, I still have some um, weird symptoms. So pardon me if I cough. However, what I will tell you is that I thought she was this polish polished actress, even in that. When I watched this podcast, what I found out, and maybe I'll see if I can find it and link it below, is that Tabitha is actually, she was actually driving Uber at that time. And her mother had prophesied over her while her mother was in the last stages of her life and Tabitha was a caretaker, one of the caretakers for her. Her mother had prophesied over her. She had gone in to check on her in the middle of the night and she said her mother's face was drenched with tears and she was shaking and crying and she said, Mama, what's wrong with you? And Tabitha's from a small town in, is it North or South Carolina? She does say it all the time, Eden. <laughs> um, how apropos for her, the garden. Yeah. God is good, man. If God has a plan for your life, no one can shirk it from you. But for 13 years, Tabitha worked and worked and worked. And um, one of the things that her mother said is that she was crying because God had given her an image of what her life was going to be like in the years to come. And she said to her, but first you have to have a son. You're going to have a son. And Tabitha's like, I'm not going to have a son. We're done with our kids. And she thought that her mom, she makes this joke. She said, I thought my mom's medication was affecting her. And she, you know, and, and she was just having this delusion. And she said, but mama, what is it? What did you see? And she says, I can't tell you, baby. But I'm telling you, it's going to be so much better than you can ever imagine. I know it seems odd to have this level of emotion, guys. I am an empath and I, I do not have any problem wearing my heart on my sleeve. But Tabitha, I hold her directly in the best uh, way responsible for helping me to reopen my heart and to start to feel kindness and love and compassion and absolute pride and happiness for someone. You know, in a lot of our journeys, we sometimes have people that can be jealous of us or not really proud of us. And there's something about Tabitha that just causes you to radiate absolute connection and total happiness for it. If you can't be happy for Tabitha Brown, then you need to check your pulse. Uh, if you need to heal any issues of being covetous or anything like that, or worrying if something won't happen for you, Tabitha Brown is soul food for your energy. She has truly allowed herself to be used as a conduit. That thing that her mother saw is what I want to speak to, the vision. Sometimes people will have a vision for us and they will prophesy a thing over us. And years later, Tabitha did end up having a son, her youngest son, that her and her husband, she said, just woke up one day and decided, yeah, you want to do this? Yeah, let's do it. And the prophecy was fulfilled. 
and then the rest of it. But nothing was easy for her. She didn't get a lot of jobs. She got some. And some of them were, as she says, janky <laughs> and scams and whatever. And she plugged away and she worked. Her work ethic was impeccable. I adore a good work ethic. I don't think you have to work grueling. I do think that you work smart and you work with the universe. You work with God. And Tabitha has never, ever run from her calling or her God. And neither did her mother, who was quite gifted. As I was watching her tonight talk about the fact that she won, she just posted a video about an hour ago. Uh, California, or is she in Chicago now? She's working on something, but I think she does live in California. And she said she was thinking about all of the things that have happened in her life to get her to this point. And what she says is never give up. Your dreams come true as long as you continue to work. Tabitha did her work and it's only beginning to open up for her, especially with Aquarius in her sign, the age of Aquarius being who she is. She is a maverick. She is different. She followed nobody's rules and she was an unrepentant dreamer. And I hope that that message touches whoever needs it today. If you didn't need it, you would not have found yourself over here. You would not have found it to this way. You're supposed to hear this if you're here. The reason that I wanted to share is because Tabitha helped me reconnect with how to care. And I'm grateful for her. There have been a lot of tears lately, but they've been all so happy because I'm remembering like the old me, the me that was not so jaded and sullied. And I was watching her tonight and found myself in a full praise break, like a full Pentecostal praise break, like speaking tongues in my living room. For those of you who know, you know, because I felt my angels and ancestors saying, keep going. Yes, you still have more to go, but I, we're blessing you. We're washing our blessings of abundance over you. And for anybody listening here, the same is true for you. I feel what it would be said in church as the Holy Spirit right now. And that's what happens when you are in the company of good energy. I don't know Tabitha Brown and she does not know me. But she is an earth angel and she's radiant and her spirit has affected and lifted me because she's done her work and she did it with authenticity. She said in her acceptance speech tonight, I am grateful because I've won this award. I wanted to be an actress for portraying other people, but they gave it to me just for being me. How beautiful is that, empath? How beautiful is that, divine feminine? In a world that wants us to stay stuck in the matrix, how beautiful is it to just be loved because we are authentically ourselves? It's a beautiful, perfect example of standing in your power and not wavering. Also of work ethic. She wasn't scared to drive anybody's Uber or work at anybody's Macy's and she spoke life at herself at every turn. And now, batter up. It's her turn. When you see someone succeeding like this, know that there are dreams in your heart that will not be missed. If you put the work in and you stay true to you, like Tabitha Brown, there will be so much more for you to do. I am not Tabitha, but one of the things that she does say is about making sure to share good energy. And not to ruin anybody else's day. I don't even want to say her breeds. Because I don't want to copy in, in any way. I am me. <laughs> she is she. But she is a beautiful, black, strong woman. Who has deeply inspired me. So check out her everything. <laughs> She's everywhere. You've seen her everywhere. As soon as you click on the video, you'll know. Oh yeah, that's her with Donna. That's her hair. <laughs> that's what she named her afro is Donna. <laughs> She's just a delight. And uh, I have just found Aquarius energy to be something that just does me so right. I absolutely resound. They are the opposite sign of my zodiac sign, Leo. And um, Tabitha is a treasure that I have found. And I think the rest of the world found her too. 
uh, she does have so much good love and energy to imbue. And I directly thank her energetically because she helped me with the color green and Archangel Raphael to start to heal, to start to get back to being well and happy and expectant and hopeful. She helped me heal my heart. That's why I love Tabitha Brown. That, for me, has been the best part. Love you guys so much. I'm going to try to get some sleep, take some melatonin, <laughs> so that tomorrow I can go ground myself for the first time in a long time, leaving my house and go to the beach. It's long overdue, guys. I love you, Divine Feminines. I love you, Empaths. Thank you all for bearing with me through my tears. There may be more to come because when your heart chakra cracks back open, this is one of the things that you have to go through. It's one of the things you have to get done. I needed to remember what it was to be emotional. I had become very cold. Uh, I did it as a function of survival. But Tabitha Brown helped break my heart out of that mold. Come back and join me next time and we will continue to evolve together. <laughs>